And here we have A10 A1 164 wipeout on the taxi about to take off. That's pretty cool. Today I'm going to share a script with you that you could use in your scenarios that will make your map come alive. Player Markers Script. Built a little mission and this mission has a lot of assets. You could see all the waypoints for all those assets. So these assets are infantry, tanks, APCs, cars, trucks, planes, helicopters, and even SDVs and boats. So each one of these assets has a waypoint that will go all over the map. And the point of this is to demonstrate a script that I'm going to share with you. So let's go to the scenario tab at the top and then down to open scenario folder. Here we are in the mission folder and this is the script that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. I'm going to zip up this script into a zip file and link it for download in the description of the video. When you get it just put the script into your mission folder just like I did here. Let's open up the script and review it. So the script was created by Aerosun, and the name of the script is playermarkers.sqf. You can access information about the script on the GitHub and BI forms. The description for the script is here. I'm not going to read it, but we're going to go over the usage of the script. So basically to run this script, all you need to do is in the client's INIT, highlight this code here, and you're going to put it into the player's INIT box. So let's scroll down to something you need to look at, which is this right here. So I have these all set to true. These are just true false. Show all sides is all the assets for every faction. So if it's just players only and you show all sides, then it's going to show basically markers for all players in the mission. This is the same thing, except it's showing players. This is just showing the faction side that everybody's on. If you show the AIs and set that to true, then it's going to show every AI. If you have all sides set as well, then it's going to show the players plus the AI. So this, you kind of got to play around with these three, so you can decide what you want to do. And that's basically it. That's all you really need to do. And uh, let's go into the mission, and I'll show you how this works. So just to let you know, if we go to the attributes real quick, and then we go to general... I have Independence Allegiance to Blue 4 and O4. They will not attack O4, O4 will not attack them, and they won't attack Blue 4. If we go to the player, which is right here, in the player's INIT, I have the first code as I showed you in the script, and that's all I did. And I just hit OK, and that's it. So let's play the mission, and let's check it out. You just go to your map, and you will see all the icons that are on the map. Every marker you see is live. So you have independent, you have vote for, most of the blue four is up here. So here you have A149 Griffin fighter jet. Then we have FA18 Black Wasp. Here we have an SDV, that's one of those uh, submarines. And over here we have a speedboat minigun. Here we have Hunter HMG. And here we have A10 A1 164 wipeout on the taxi about to take off. That's pretty cool. And then you have some units not doing anything, but they are there. 
So you got a hunter, slammer, helicopter, APC, mortar, soldier. Then we have a couple of tanks, slammers. We have quad bike. And we have some infantry. Some more infantry. And then we have Hope 4 infantry. Helicopter. Black Wasp again. Griffin. Then around where the player is at, you can see the player, which is me. You can see I'm idle, obviously. Got some infantry on patrol. Some more infantry. Independent helicopter. And you have the Orca. Got independent infantry. You have O4 infantry. One on patrol. Suck. You might be stuck or something. And yes, an independent infantry. You got a Tempest transport, which is actually going up a hill. That's why it's going so slow, because this is a hill here. You have an independent Strider HMG. for infantry here. Got a uh, MSE3 Madrid. Some more infantry here. So you could really track who is where if you if you only wanted it to to do your side, let's say you were playing, you know, multiplayer and you only wanted to track your own people. Let's say you were a leader and on your server you only wanted to, you know, just track your unit and see where everybody's at. You know, you could use that for this. So this this script works single player. As you can see it works single player and multiplayer and dedicated. close. Alright guys, I hope you liked that. I hope you find this useful. I want to thank you for watching and uh, as I said, I'll link the script in the description of the video and you guys can download it and check it out and use it in your own scenarios. For more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist.